Hey everyone, I'm Cassandra Brooks. Recently Megan did a beauty product, I think it was mainly hair items, that she got inexpensively at like beauty supply stores and drug stores. And a lot of you guys commented and said that you would like us to do a drugstore beauty product haul. So I'm actually going to do that for you right now. I'm going to share with you some of my favorite beauty items that you can get at your local drugstore like CVS, Walgreens. They're really inexpensive, but they're also really great quality. I love these. So first we're going to start out with my tanning products. I try not to go to the tanning beds because you know they're really harmful for your skin. Um, so I really opted to use at home products that give you the same effect. Um, pretty much this is a lotion that I use. These are both Banana Boat. I really love the Banana Boat products. Um, this one is not sticky and it really does not leave streaks as long as you are careful when you apply it. You also want to be careful around places like your elbows and your knees. Um, because those places the skin tends to be a little more dry so it really sucks up the product and you might look a little weird. So anyways, be really careful on those areas. Um, this one, it will make you look brown, like you just got back from vacation somewhere. I know a lot of times the tan in a bottle makes you look orange and everyone can tell you're like Jersey Shore, it's horrible. No, this makes you look like a golden goddess. Um, and then I use this on my feet and hands because sometimes this can get a little streaky. Um, so this, when you spray it on your feet and hands, it kind of has that like misty effect and it really just covers them without streaking them. So this is great for that. And then this is also great for when you don't really want to smell like fake tan because this has like a citrus smell to it. Um, it still kind of smells like fake tan, but not as bad. So I really love these. They're going to make you look gorgeous and hopefully protect you from the sun. But you do need SPF. Don't want to confuse you. A lot of people wear like the fake tanner and then they think, oh, I'm tan. I don't need to wear sunscreen. Not true. You still need sunscreen because there's none in here. Moving right along, um, this is what I use for my hair. A lot of you people comment and say that my hair is fried and I use bleach. Um, no, I don't. This is actually Extra Light Ash Blonde. It's L'Oreal um, Excellence Cream. And I only use it on my roots. I'm really careful to not apply it to where I've already dyed my hair because that's when you really get breakage when you overlap dyeing your hair. So when you do dye your hair yourself at home, you want to make sure that you don't overlap the dyeage. And then um, also you want to deep condition. I've been trying to do that a lot lately is deep conditioning my hair and also wearing masks on my face because you really need to take care of yourself. A lot of the products that we use just like dries everything out. So deep condition, um, hot oil treatments are wonderful also. And I use a lot of heat on my hair. So that's one of the reasons I've been dealing with a lot of breakage. I seriously curl my hair like every day, blow dry every other day. It's bad. So I'm going to look into, if you have any recommendations, please let me know what you do to keep your hair healthy. Now I'm going to move on to nails. My nail products that I get from like CVS and Walgreens, they're all Sally Hansen. I'm obsessed. Um, first of all, this is my most favorite thing that she just came out with. She, like I know her. Hey Sally, what's up? Um, anyways, this is Sally Hansen Salon Effects. I actually did a tutorial or a review on this on my personal um, page on YouTube if you want to check it out. I'll put the link down below. Anyways, they have all sorts of different designs and colors and glitter and these are so easy to apply and they last forever. Mine lasted two and a half weeks. Um, I had the cheetah print ones first and they just looked phenomenal. They don't chip and you don't even have to wait for them to dry. You put them on and you're good to go. Love these. They're about $9.50, so cheaper than a manicure. And then these are my nail pans from Sally Hansen. Um, we'll start with this one. This is just Sally Hansen Color Quick. Um, it's in the white color. I'm wearing it right now. But anyways, this you put it on and in less than a minute it's dry. So it's really awesome. Let me show you the tip. It's pretty much like a brush. You click the end and then you apply it to your nails. It's really simple to use and it dries so fast. And if you watch my What's in My Purse video, um, I said not to put nail polish in your purse. It's a bad idea. Well, anyways, these screw on tightly. As long as you have the cap on tightly, you can keep this in your bag for little touch-ups. So I love these. Um, one of my favorite colors in this is gold. You should try it. It's really hard to find. It's always sold out. But if you find it, it looks great on the nails. Um, and then these are my nail art pens. I'll show you a picture. Um, I used these for my Halloween costume. I had cheetah print nails. Check it out. How cute. These are so easy to use and so fun. Um, just a nail art pen. This one's pink, this one's black, and it's pretty self-explanatory. You just draw on your nails like as if it was a pen. So really fun. Maybe I'll have to do something crazy and give you girls a tutorial. Um, now we're going to go to, I talk about this all the time. This is Voluminous Original by L'Oreal. It's the best mascara in the entire world. 
I love it. Um, I've used other mascaras, like the really expensive ones, like Dior and whatnot, and I always come back to this one. This is my favorite. It's about six bucks, and it's worth every penny. This one is just black. Sometimes they get black as black, sometimes they get black, doesn't really matter. Love it. Um, and then, um, I wanted to show you this actually because I don't like this and I don't want you to waste your money. This is L'Oreal, um, the One Sweep Eyeshadow. The ads for this look incredible. Um, the colors are so vibrant and it looks so simple. Um, it's not, it's horrible. So I just wanna save you some money, don't do this. But anyways, what it is, is it's a crazy little shaped brush and then you have the color and you're supposed to sweep it once across and then you sweep it across your eye. And then you do the same, you flip it for the other eye. Um, the color is really vibrant in the ad, it does not show up vibrant on your eyes. So you would like have to take a small brush and really get in there and really apply it to your eye to get the color to pop. So it's not really worth the time and money. So don't like it. <laughs> um, what I do like is this eyebrow pencil. This is Revlon um, and it's called Color Stay Brow Enhancer. On one side you have the eyebrow color that you, it's kind of like a gel waxy pencil and you just color your eyebrows in and then what I love about it is on the other side there's a highlighter. So it's a little bit thicker, it kind of reminds me of like the roll out erasers when you were a kid in high school or whatever. Anyway, so you roll it out and then you just put that underneath your brow bone. It's really going to make your eyes pop um, and this is great to have in your bag if you're starting to look a little sleepy, um, put the highlighter under your brows and it'll really open up your eyes. Um, another thing that I love is this. So um, I used to use the MAC fluid line and it was kind of pricey, but this, Maybelline, this is like a dupe. They came out with this and it's the exact same product pretty much. Um, it comes in a pot as well. This is Maybelline Eye Studio. Oops. Anyways, it's just like the creamy consistency like the fluid line and it also comes with a brush. That's what I didn't like about the MAC product is you had to buy a brush separately. So this one, pretty inexpensive, comes with the brush, the little pot, and it lasts all, all day. You put it on once and you don't have to reapply your eyeliner. Love it. And then um, back to Sally Hansen. This is just a great top coat to have. Um, the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear. This one dries really fast too. I have it in pink and just fabulous. I love you, Sally. Um, now we're gonna go on to the like face makeup that I use. Um, I actually used to use this religiously. This is Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Foundation. Um, but what I didn't like about this is they only have a few different colors. So if you're in between colors, in between shades, um, it's not really gonna match your skin tone very well. So this one is great to try because it's inexpensive and it's also non-comedogenic and hypoallergenic. I have super sensitive skin and I break out if you look at me wrong. So this, um, was really great. It really helped my skin out, but it's really hard to match your color. So try it. If you don't like it, a lot of places let you return things. So CVS, if you still have like more than half of the product, you can return it um, and say you didn't like it and they will refund you. This color is natural beige. And then I still use this. This is their mineral wear face powder. Um, and this is really great because it really um, helps set your face and make it like not shiny and it doesn't clog your pores. So this is great. This color is buff beige. Um, I use this one a lot. And then for blushes, I use these. Um, this one's kind of not really my color. It's in between bronzer and blush. Um, so I've only used it a few times. As you can tell, it's still pretty new. The color is blushing peach. But my favorite one from them is this one. This is blushing rose. Um, it's just an all around great color for your cheeks. Um, and I really like it. And then one of my other favorite products from Physicians Formula, they have a lot of great items if you want to try them out. This is just their strip. It's called Sunset Strip Bronzer. You can use this all over your body. You can use it to highlight your cheekbones. You can use it as eyeshadow. I love using this as eyeshadow in the summertime because it's really bright and fun. Um, and then I think I just have these. These are my tweezers from CVS and they are Tweezerman and it's pink of course that's why I got them it's the LTD and they are so precise and awesome so that's my awesome haul on items that you can get from drugstores if you have any questions please let me know um, and yeah don't buy that L'Oreal product I love these I hope you love them as well and thanks for watching bye